happening right now. History is being made at Petco Park as the band Bad Bunny takes stage for the second day in a row in front of a sold out crowd. This is a live look right now where that concert is in full swing. The huge crowds also giving downtown businesses a nice boost. Fox 5's Alani Latang live with more on that impact. Alani. Jason, Misha, let me see if I can top that view for you. But look, Bad Bunny knows how to put on a party. He knows how to bring out the excitement in people. Then we are on a rooftop next to the stage here. But look at all the fans here that are just trying to catch a show here. But also look at the crowd down there at Bad Bunny again really bringing out the fun in people. All those lights that you see, those are actually wristbands on people's arms and they light up in synchrony when when a, when a song comes on. But this back-to-back -back concert is reflective of how good businesses are doing. Many owners say that they've seen a lot of people come in before the show and definitely after. We get the pre-game rush, you get the post-game rush. And we're here for it all. We're just on the gas lamp, uh, like district, so we were just um, like bar hopping. A busy downtown. Quite the injection of sales and good energy. It's been a great crowd. As Bad Bunny plays the whole weekend. Back to back concerts sold out at Petco Park, the first artist to ever do so at the downtown venue. The Puerto Rican superstar is attracting people from all over the country, the state, like Naomi De La Torre, who drove in from Upland in San Bernardino County. It's her and her brother's first Bad Bunny concert. It's like hitting now. I was driving and I was like, it doesn't hit yet. And we came and I was like, oh my goodness, we're going to go see Bad Bunny. People are ready to spend their money and add to the San Diego economy. We have like a $500 limit for merch. Okay. Yeah. For just merchandise. Yeah, just merch. <laughs> but it's been great for us. It's a lot of people going out and about. Uh, obviously, they want tequila and mezcal and tacos. <laughs> Paul Gorduño opened Casa Octavio, a tequila and mezcal bar, in May. Its location right around the corner from Petco Park has been an engine for business. Seems like uh, the stadium has been very proactive to bring a lot of people in and a lot of concerts and, and a variety of different types of people. So that helps out a lot here, being, being able to offer something. I think it's more an amenity for the stadium. Others found ways to save after several say tickets cost them hundreds of dollars. Ruby Santos from the Bay Area flew flew in for the weekend. The good thing is that we were able to spend the night at my cousin who lives here, so we didn't get to spend any money on like hotels or like Airbnbs. A weekend full of bright, vibrant colors and tons of excitement. It's always a great fun uh, when there's concerts in town, no matter who's playing, especially when they're inside the park. And I'm going to show you another look inside the park there. Bad Bunny had got on stage right before 9 o'clock today, about 8.45 there. Again, we can hear it. We can feel that bass. Yesterday on Saturday, his show, he played for nearly three hours, getting out right before midnight. Many of these people here still hoping for just as long of a show, but definitely the excitement again is still here. We're on this rooftop here. It's been a lot of fun. But for now, reporting live downtown, I'm Alani Latane, Fox 5 News.